Hey, how's it going? Well, some older videos of mine have been coming up because people have been making comments on them, and there's some from like 2015, and uh, they're regarding smoking. And it, the subject used to be a sore spot for me. I used to get really, really pissy about it. And I get annoyed at certain things, but I don't get all pissy about it anymore. Um, you know, I still get annoyed that there are some smokers out there who don't seem to give a shit about anyone else. They're certainly not all smokers, and I wouldn't even put them in... I wouldn't even say that it's most smokers, but there are some that ruin it for the ones that are decent. Like the ones who will literally stand right in the, in the doorway to a business. Like, I want to go get groceries, and here's this jackass standing right in front of the, the, uh, the entrance to the place, so when I want to go in there, I'm going to smell... I, my clothes are going to smell like cigarettes because of their habit. You know, there, there are some very inconsiderate smokers out there. You know, um, there are some people who will go on, they'll walk through a crowd of people. Yeah, it's outside, but you're going to walk through this huge crowd of people while smoking a cigarette. Yeah, good job. You're making everyone reek of your, your, of your habit. You know? Um, there are also, I, I'm reminded of... Uh, <laughs> It's, it might sound kind of pathetic, but th there was a period where I was having problems with weed, and I tried the N.A. thing for a little while, and that wasn't for me. The N.A. is for people who believe in uh, an anthropomorphic god, you know? It's really the only way that the program works, and you've got to give it up to God, Right? And I don't really believe in that. I, I be, I'm kind of a pantheist, but that and and an uh, atheist to Abrahamic uh, religions. But I'm kind of a pantheist. I think the the universe is kind of this giant living thing, so to speak, and we're just a part of it. And uh, and that's not really compatible with this. Oh, give it up to God. Yeah, that doesn't work. But the one thing that I took note of is just how many people in N.A. smoke cigarettes. And at least half of them couldn't make it through a whole meeting without leaving the, the room and going out for a smoke. And I think to myself, man, imagine what it, what it, what it was like before there were smoking bans you know, in uh, indoor public places. Man, it must have just been a cloudy room. And, you know, they, these, the N.A. thing, they, they, if someone, even though it's not supposed to be, um, well, alcohol isn't considered a narcotic, but in N.A., if someone had one drink, oh, well, they have to start their clean date over again, right? Even though N.A. is supposed to be about narcotics. But these people... Some of these people couldn't make it through an entire NA meeting without, oh, oh, it's just like, so that's okay, but if someone has one drink, or they have some, they have something that happened to have a little bit of alcohol in it, oh, nope, you gotta restart your clean date. I always thought that was kind of hypocritical. If they're gonna be that way about alcohol, they should be that way about the cigarettes too, you know? But I, I don't know. I, I just always thought that was weird. Um, but the way that people are addicted to cigarettes, really, it is kind of like the way that people are addicted to a uh, to hard drugs. And for I mean, for a lot of people, when they try to quit cigarettes, it's just as hard as quitting some of the hard drugs. There's a lot of withdrawal effects that they've got. And, uh, you know, it's difficult. But people don't seem to look at cigarettes the same. Partially because it was considered just some casual thing that people could do. And it's, it's uh, 
You know, it was something that was definitely expected if someone went to a bar. Now, I'm in one of the states that they've made it so you can't smoke in a bar, and I'm pretty happy about that, so I can actually in- occasionally enjoy some nightlife and not reek of cigarettes and not have a stuffed-up nose uh, by the time I leave. Um, I mean, if I'm somewhere in- with indoor cigarettes, uh, my nose is completely clogged within 10 minutes. And then, of course, my clothes absolutely reek of it, and I, uh, as soon as I get home, the very first thing I do is strip off my clothes, put them in the wash, and take a long shower. You know, I, uh, I won't date someone who smokes indoors. You know, they, they would have, if, if, if they wanted me to date them, they would have to change their habits. That's just how it is. If they smoke outside, that's fine. But if they smoke indoors, yeah, it's just not going to work for me. Um, and maybe I'm uh, denying a number of really good people, but oh well, I'm just I'm just not going to deal with that. So, um, yeah, I am not a fan of cigarettes. I definitely don't want to reek of cigarettes just because I wanted to get groceries. Um, what do you think? How do you feel about cigarettes? 